Hello dear students, welcome to mathematics class. In this class, let us discuss some properties of a group. So before going to start the properties, here one note is there that is when G is a group with respect to a binary operation star, then we shall simply write A B instead of a star b where a and b are elements in g so means here while proving the theorems or some properties it is not necessary to write a star b everywhere so here if we write a b it is not a into b actually it is a star b in this group theory so that is the meaning of this note now, the first property is prove that cancellation laws hold in a group. That is, if G is a group, then for all A, X, Y, these are the three elements of a group G, then A, X equal to A, Y, it implies X equal to Y. So, here A, X equal to A, Y here a and a will get cancelled then remaining x equal to y this is nothing but left cancellation law and similarly x a into y a is equal to or it implies x equal to y this is nothing but right cancellation law. So, here if here we cannot directly cancel the elements in this group theory here a and a will get cancelled here if both sides if a is exist in the left side of the variables that is left side of x we have a and here also left side of y we have a then only we can cancel out the constant or this a and we can write x y and similarly for the right side of x and y. Now let us prove this one. Let G is a group. So here it is given that G is a group. Now we need to prove that A x equal to A y it implies that x equal to y. Now let A inverse B the inverse of A. Since G is a group, then it has to satisfy all the four laws, closure law, associative law, identity law and inverse law. Then by using that inverse law, we can say that A inverse B the inverse of A. So, this is because of inverse law. Since inverse law satisfied, then a inverse will exist in the group G. Now, pre multiplying, pre multiplying equation 1. Now, consider this Ax equal to Ay as equation 1. Now, pre multiplying equation 1 by A inverse on both sides. So, for LHS and to RHS we need to pre multiply A inverse. So, here there are two types of multiplication one is pre multiplication and one is the post multiplication. Pre multiplication means we need to multiply a number or a constant to the left side of the given number. So, here Ax is given and we are pre multiplying A inverse means we should multiply A inverse on the left side of the A x and similarly here A inverse into A y because we are pre multiplying equation 1 by A inverse. So, both the sides must be multiplied by A inverse on the left side of the given number. Now, this expression can be written as A inverse into A into x here also A inverse into A into y this is because of associative property. Since G is a group, it has to satisfy associative law. 
So, by using the associative property here, we can write the same expression as a inverse into a into x is equal to a inverse into a into y. Then a inverse into a can be written as e and here also e. This is because of identity law. Because identity law states that a star a inverse equal to a inverse star a is equal to e or a a inverse equal to a inverse a is equal to e. So, therefore, here we have a inverse into a then that can be replaced by the identity element e and here also a inverse into a is there. So, therefore, we have replaced that by the identity element e. Now, e into x that can be written as x and e into y this can be written as y because of the identity law. We know that the statement of the identity law is a star e is equal to e star a is equal to a itself means if you multiply any number by the identity element of that group then the element will not change it remains as it is. So, we can write the same expression as a e is equal to e a is equal to a. So, therefore, e into x equal to x and e into y is equal to y. So, therefore, it implies that if a x equal to a y then we have proved that x equal to y this is nothing but we can cancel out the same elements on the left side of the if they exist on the left side of the given two elements. So, therefore, here we can cancel out a and a then we can write x is equal to y. So, therefore, this is the left cancellation law and it holds good in a group under the given binary operation star. And let us prove the second one that is x a equal to y a it implies x equal to y. Now, the second one let us consider the given statement that is x a is equal to y a consider this as equation number 2. Again here let a inverse be the inverse of a in the given group g. So, here given that x a equal to y a and we have considered that as the second equation and a inverse is the inverse of a since inverse law satisfied in g then we can consider inverse of a. Now, now post multiplying post multiplying equation 2 by a inverse. So, here previously we have multiplied that a inverse to the equation 1 as a pre multiplication and here we are multiplying that a inverse as the post multiplication. So, therefore, post multiplication means we have to multiply this element a inverse to the right side of the element x a. So, therefore, x a into a inverse equal to y a into a inverse. So, this is by the post multiplication of the two elements that we have multiplied a inverse on the right side of the x a here also right side of the y a. Then again by using the associative property we can write the same expression as x into a into a inverse is equal to y into a into a inverse. So, here this is by using the associative law because associative law satisfied in g because g is a group. Now, x this a into a inverse that we have already know that a into a inverse can be written as e here also y into e. Since a into a inverse is equal to e this is by using the inverse law that is a star a inverse equal to a inverse star a is equal to e or a into a inverse a inverse into a is equal to e. These both the expressions are same because we have already given the note that instead of a star a inverse we can write simply a a inverse and then x into e that is equal to x only and here it is y because 
E is the identity element of G and if you multiply any element by the identity element then the element will not change. So therefore here the element X is multiplying by the identity element E. So therefore X into E remains X and here Y into E will not change that also remain Y only. So therefore this is by using the identity law. Now here we have considered x a is equal to y a and we have proved x equal to y. So therefore if x a is equal to y a it implies x equal to y. Then by using these two conditions we can say that in any group G cancellation laws hold good. So therefore cancellation laws hold in a group G. So these laws hold in a group capital G here the condition is that this G must satisfy the four laws their associative law, identity law, inverse law and closer law. The next property is the identity element in a group G is unique. So we know that usually the identity element is denoted by small e, right? This e is the identity element of a group G. Now we need to show that this e is unique means except this e there is no other identity element only e is the identity element of a group G means you can replace this symbol by any other element but that should be unique means if E is the identity element that E must be the only one identity element of a group G. Let us prove this one let capital G be a group that is G star is a group means the given set is G and star is the given binary operation and we need to prove that E is unique. Suppose, suppose means if possible E and E dash are two elements of a group G. Let us consider the two elements E and E dash are the two elements of a group G. Now we can write that E E dash is equal to E. Here we are multiplying the element E with E dash and we are getting the product as E only and it implies that E dash is the identity element. Is it right? Because by using that identity law we can say that A star E is equal to E star A is equal to A. If we are multiplying this A by E, this A will not change that remains as it is. So therefore here we are multiplying E dash with E and this E is not changing. The product is E only it implies that E dash is the identity element. And E into E dash, if the product is equal to E dash, then it implies that E is the identity element. Is it right? If the product is E, then E dash is the identity element. If the product is E dash, then E is the identity element. Actually, this is not possible because the identity element will be unique. But if possible, if possible we have considered the two elements as the identity elements because E dash and E are acting as the identity elements of a group G. Now E E dash is unique element of G. So here 
E E dash is the unique element of G because here on LHS in both the equations or expressions we have E E dash E E dash means these two elements are one and the same. So therefore, E E dash is the unique element of G here we have written the same element twice it does not mean that these two are the different elements. So here these two are the same elements so therefore that is the unique element of G therefore E into E dash equal to E and E into E dash is equal to E dash. So by using these two expressions we have written same E into E dash equal to E and E into E dash is equal to E dash and we know that this E into E dash and this E into E dash are one and the same means they are equal. So for any equations if the RHS of the two equations are same then LHS will be same or LHS of any two equations is same then we can say that the RHS will be the same. So therefore by using that property we can say that E is equal to E dash E is equal to E dash means if E into E dash equal to E and here also we have E into E dash equal to E dash then since E E dash is the same element of a group G then E and E dash must be the same. So therefore, therefore identity element of a group G is unique. So means there will not be two identity elements in any group there will be a single identity element and that is denoted by usually by E we can replace E by E dash or E by any other thing but that should be unique. So that is the meaning of this theorem.